Big Mom versus Zoro and Sanji isn't close. First of all, let's get one thing straight. The Big Mom I'm referring to is the one kid and La fought. Not the Big Mom who's quote unquote nerfed. Not the Big Mom who's quote unquote equal to Kaido. This very, very strange Big Mom. And I will not be using the anime Big Mom either because they have her looking like a fucking maniac. So since Kid and Law cooked Big Mom in the last episode, it has a lot of y'all animals going in rabbit. I'm seeing people say Kid has a better nothing happened moment than Zoro. Like, what the fuck? First of all, Kid still has fans. <laughs> please don't ever compare a Kid moment to that moment. Like, please don't ever do that. But yeah, let's get into it. Guys, like the video, subscribe. I love you all. Very much appreciated. There's a pretty simple way of explaining this. I'm going to divide it into three sections. So the first thing we're going to talk about is, can Sanji and Zoro damage Big Mom and put her down? When it comes to Sanji, I want you guys to know Yusuke's kid was able to damage Big Mom with just his scrap metal. I know that may sound like a dumb argument saying it's just metal, but hear me out. Kid says water droplets can carve stone over time. Nothing is truly impervious to damage. And that's his explanation on how he's able to damage Big Mom, even when it's just his regular metal. I repeat, metal that's not even connected to Kid himself. Metal beams from debris. The houses you live in right now, it's metal contributed to damaging Big Mom severely to the point where she had to use a year of her lifespan and she said she never felt this pain before. So the pattern you guys are looking at, he used a sign on Big Mom and all the metal rods and beams came slamming at her and that's how she got severely damaged alongside La Shock Willie. So if she's able to get damaged to that extent from metal beams, like what are we talking about here? So in conclusion, Sanji has the hottest flames plus his physical strength that he used to send a 50 ton dino into outer space plus his speed which is at an extremely high level and we know speed equals weight plus his artery hockey he should be able to damage big mom to some extent not to the extent of damn punk and puncture willy from what we know but if metal beams are damaging big mom i'm gonna have to say sanji can at least do some type of damage but it don't matter to be honest because zoro i think he has the power to kill her honestly it's pretty simple big mom's durability is slightly overrated as i kind of shown with the kid stuff and it's not on the same level of kaido's the feats don't compare zoro was able to scar kaido with 30 broken bones Zoro who's healthy using Ashura on a less durable opponent like Big Mom, it should do way more damage. Also with his King of Hell also being Conqueror's Hockey infused, he should be lethal enough to put Big Mom down after a couple of attacks. This is also reinforced when Big Mom was terrified of a flying dragon blaze that wasn't even directed towards her. That does not scale anywhere near Zoro's Ashura or King of Hell attacks. So if she's afraid of a flying dragon blaze, what the fuck do you think a King of Hell attack is going to do to Big Mom? And especially Ashura. Secondly, can Zanji and Zoro evade and land attacks on Big Mom. Any character should be able to do this to be honest regardless of how fast they are since Big Mom is a character who has a hard time reacting to pretty much anything and more times than not she sees attacks being charged up and refuses to defend it or dodge them and she ends up getting fucked up. Regardless Zoro has been shown multiple feats of him speed blitzing Big Mom. First when he saved Luffy from Prometheus in the beginning of the rooftop. Second when he saves Luffy and evades her attack while she's in motion of attacking Luffy. Lastly when he blitz Big Mom with killer some people may argue that big mom got faster after her homie amp or after she uses soul pokus technically advanced conqueror's hockey is a speed buff so that really wouldn't matter for zoro but we don't have to get to that in this video because big mom regardless of her amps is still a sitting target sanji is pretty straightforward like what do i gotta say he's one of the fastest characters in the verse against a stationary target that lets people hit her but regarding him evading her attacks a seraphim shot its laser at vegapunk and while it was traveling sanji was able to react and intercept it and save the vegapunk even zoro seemingly wasn't aware that sanji was near him he's more than capable of evading her attacks just like zoro will zoro was able to react to her run over and pick up luffy dodge her attack all while she was in the middle of doing an attack now let's say she does hit them can they tank attack to survive them well off the bat big mom's strongest attack is misery she used it as her last resort and this was her after soul pokus amp the first time she used it she got speed blitzed the second time she used it law literally speed blitzed the attack and cut it in half with his base sword not even in his room zoro is more than capable of doing the exact same shit law did which is pretty much cut misery sanji and zoro should be able to endure most of big mom's attacks similar to kin law zoro's endurance is one of the best in the series even shown in wano after he took some of the akai damage he was able to get up and still fight against Kaido with 30 broken bones. Sanji had all his bones in his body broken, claimed it only hurt, he could still move fine. While Sanji also having better durability than Kit and 
and lava from his feet and due to his exoskeleton. Attacks like this won't affect Sanji because he's fire resistant and Prometheus attacks won't affect Zoro either since he can cut them and speed blitz Prometheus. Attacks like Mama Raid and Ikaku Sovereignty were taken head on by Kid. Zoro and Sanji have the feats to be able to take that as well or even better. In conclusion, they have the facilities to outspeed and react to Big Mom. They have the damage to burn down, especially Zoro's attacks being the most lethal. And they have great endurance slash durability to take her attack similar to Kit and Ma. I just see Zoro and Sanji speed blizzing the fuck out of her all day while they're piecing her up. But let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.